What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? I want to know. Fluffy Tori sent me a mystery dress to open and review and react to and style and I'm so excited for it. I don't know what it is. I think that you get that by now. <laughs> I'm wearing my Fluffy Tori collab shirt. Uh, I'm wearing it in a different style today, kind of like a tie up summer shirt, even though it's the dead of winter, there's snow everywhere. But there's a few things that I want to talk about before I actually get into this. So let's set this aside for a moment. Now you don't have to put in the comments, video starts at blah, 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 because I have video timelines at the top of each of my descriptions. So if you want to skip to any certain part in this video, you are totally welcome to. I will not be mad. That is there for you to help. My wig today is from Ava Hair Official and they have sent me a bunch of wigs in the past and I'm so grateful for all of the wigs that they've sent me and this one. For the most part, the wigs that they've carried for a long time have been these sort of serious lace front wigs that I think are meant for more like daily wear and to look more real and natural, which is not exactly what I need for Lolita specifically. And I've told them this a couple different times because I don't really want a costume wig for Lolita, but I also don't personally need this realistic of a wig. I just sort of need something in between. And also bangs are not a necessity in Lolita fashion. You do not have to have bangs to wear Lolita. But for me personally, I've had bangs for 20 years. I kind of look like an egghead without them. <laughs> My best friend sent me pictures of my baby self the other day and was calling me an egghead. Um, anyways, he means it with love. So I have mentioned to them several times that, you know, it would be nice if they could carry other wigs that are in a lower price range and that also maybe include bangs. And they actually listened and they have a bunch of more wigs now that are lower priced and have bangs and are more kind of in tune with what I think of at least when it comes to Lolita and J fashion wigs. And this is one of them. I just put it on my head. I haven't styled it at all. I just took it out of the box and put it on. I think that I might style it a bit later on, but this is what it looks like and I'm really enjoying it. If you've been on my channel for a while, maybe you have been wondering what happened to my chair. You want to know the update on the chair saga. If you are <laughs> new here, what I'm talking about is I had a chair that was pink, it was flaking, and it was a very special chair to me. A friend of mine gave it to me when I first moved to Toronto before I could afford my own chair. And then I got a gaming chair and I kept the other chair as just an extra chair and to have in this area. Um, and people were making fun of it and saying that I needed to get rid of it and I defended it and then it didn't really appear in videos for a while and I'm sure some of you have probably been <laughs> up late at night wondering where's Laura's chair? Is it okay? Did she get rid of it? Did she cave into the the comments and, and throw it out? No, I didn't. It's still here. This is the same chair. I just got a chair cover for it. So it lives on. It's still a part of this channel and you'll be seeing it more often. And this is the same chair. I still have it. We still love it. That's the chair update. <laughs> the last thing I wanna go over before I open this package is more about Fluffy Tori as a brand. So I actually have Joelle here to tell you more about it personally. Take it away, Joelle. Hello, Fluffies. I asked Joelle or Fluffy Kawaii Joe some frequently asked questions I get anytime I make a video about a brand. Since there's a lot of information to cover, she made her own video on her channel. I'm using a few clips here, but if you want more information on the Fluffy Tori brand, I recommend you check out her video, as it will go into much more detail. The link will be in my description and tagged at the end of this video. I started my brand early 2016. I'm the owner and the manager and everything, but all the talent uh, from Fluffy Tori is actually Mezzo. She is from Germany and that's the artist that I hired to make the print on my first ever quote. She does all the art uh, and also all the text, the very cool uh, pun, puns in the text and everything like that. That's also her. I would say that my brand mission 
has come after a while that I had done my brand and I realized that on my YouTube channel I was very much into showing that everybody can be gay and seeing that the kind of customers that I attracted with my brand Fluffy Dory, we decided to really focus it more also as a brand mission of Fluffy Dory. Everybody can be gay. I noticed that the fact that we could do custom sizes and we're doing shoes and we could also customize all the shoes and things like that we attract customer that like that that don't find anywhere shoes for them because they have such big feet for example and they cannot find uh, kawaii shoes for that and so we really decided to be very inclusive as much as we can for dresses we do pre-orders and during the pre-orders you can get custom sizes after we only have the uh, ready-made stock we do dresses and uh, coats and we recently made with lovely lore a collab on a uh, more casual and um, home wear. I'm managing everything all the stock all the orders everything from Switzerland and Jer and and Metso is in Germany and working in Germany and we work through the internet. We've been working like that for years. It's been a journey of finding different people and different factories. So I would say that, um, yeah, it's still a work in progress and we have not found the best ever way to make several different uh, Collection. I think all of our collections have been made by different factories. Something that came along the way that was very, very short term, like only two years after I started my brand, we had the opportunity to do a fashion show in Japan with a um, brilliant dream, brilliant dream decoration, um, the triple fortune event. So that was really amazing to get this opportunity to uh, do a fashion show in Japan. And I think one long-term goal would be to be able to sell in Japan. That would be amazing. At the moment, uh, you can buy Fluffitory things from the fluffitory.com or the pink fluffitory.pink website. Um, it's in Switzerland, but uh, you can change the currency to uh, Euro and uh, USD if you want to uh, see it in currency that you are more familiar with and we do ship worldwide of course but if you do live in North America we are actually selling things at uh, Kuroshiro Kawaii so you can buy uh, things on their website uh, also and so maybe shipping is a little bit cheaper but uh, selling there is more expensive because of their margins so the price is a little bit higher so you have to compare and they do not have everything uh, but they do have things that I do not have anymore here, so look at both places. I just want to say thank you to all the people who have actually bought anything from me or from Fluffdory because I'm just... I just started this brand to have fun because I could actually... Because it was easy for me because I had an experience in that and I'm so touched by how many people are... Um, into what we create with Mezzo and so I'm really really thankful for all the love that we got from all the customers around the world and we're so happy to be able to uh, provide clothes that makes other people happy and uh, when people say oh I never found any shoes in my size and we can do that for them I'm so 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 happy to be able to do that so Thank you everybody who bought from Fluffitory in the past and in the future and let us know what you want to see in the future because we can basically do anything. My goal is to have Lolita fashion accessible to everybody. I don't have any predictions or concerns because everything that Fluffy Tori carries I feel like I can style and will enjoy and have pieces that will work with it. I am a little bit familiar with the pieces that Fluffy Tori carries. She has a carousel dress, she has a dress with like chocolate and candy on it and then she also has a gothic dress. Oh I see mint! I see like mint and, and pom poms. I'm so excited. I think it's the, I think it's the candy one. It is. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Fluffy Tori has great stickers. I actually have a little like planner that I put her stickers on. So I'm happy to have more because I know that I had some blank spaces. Animal Crossing ones. I might actually send one of these to my mom because <laughs> my mom loves Animal Crossing. Oh, there's bats too. 
a little part of me did kind of hope that it would be this dress, but I didn't want to say anything because it was a surprise. And I would have been happy with the carousel dress or the gothic dress as well, but I really love this print. I don't have a lot of mint and chocolate prints, but I'm excited to try it out. And I think that I have stuff that will go with it. I really, really love this design. It gives me like Milky Planet vibes and also like chest chocolate, but in a cuter way, because I'm not really a fan of chest chocolate. <laughs> There's um, two buttons here. So you can adjust the straps, which is really nice. I think this would be a great option for taller Lolita since you can adjust the straps. And also if you want to have more of a natural waistline or if you want it to be more of an empire waist. <gasps> There's so much to take in with this print. I love this collar so much. And I know that like mint is sort of Joelle or Fluffy Kawaijo's like signature color, especially mint and pink. I'm holding this in my colored light so it looks a little bit different. I'll hold it over here. Think. <gasps> There's two pockets. Oh my gosh. And I can fit my whole fist in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I recently got this white belt too that would look really cute with this as well. <gasps> This makes me want to make more headpieces too, because it's just like a chocolate candy wonderland. It reminds me of Candied Island and Flapjack and Candyland the game. I'm so excited. The quality feels so nice. Like, it feels really comfortable. It's fully lined. Yeah, I'm so. I'm so excited to try this on. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Joelle. So, yeah. Let's just get to styling this. I genuinely really love this dress and have actually found it quite challenging to style. You probably see it and think that it is just your typical pink and mint dress and that I have a lot of pink things and I could just style it easily, but it's actually very vibrant. And I think that a lot of the pieces that I own are actually more soft pastel and that I mix vibrant vibrant pieces with them but this whole thing is just very over the top print very vibrant and totally beautiful i think that this would be a great piece for people who are into other alternative fashions and j fashions and maybe have pieces that are too loud and too bright to wear with other lolita i styled this with two bows from closet child that the colors are too vibrant for my other pieces and it made me really happy to finally have a way to wear them because it worked out so perfectly. I think that this is also great for Lolitas who maybe just are feeling bored and lackluster and want something exciting to work with in their fashion and maybe want a different change of pace. A lot of the times when I'm styling Lolita pieces, I like to introduce other colors to them. But for this dress, because it is so loud and so vibrant on its own, I've really been just putting together pieces that won't stand out a amongst this dress. I want this dress to be the strong focal point. So I haven't really tried to mix in other colors and I've been kind of styling it with just white, which I know is a bit of like a lazy cop out. But honestly, I just really want this dress to stand out on its own because it's so beautiful and so intricate. I am also wearing a regular bra with this coordinate. I don't even think that I can say any words for chest on YouTube. I think they're all blocked. This dress was made with the intention that people have a chest and it is very comforting to that and I can wear this kind of regular style with a little bit of padding bra and it's not crushing my chest which is amazing. There is also shirring in this dress and it is very expandable, very comfortable. I don't know the sizing information off the top of my head. I will have to put that in in editing. Um, something to consider when styling this dress is that it does have a Peter Pan collar and I am working on a video all about things to consider with blouses and tops in Lolita so I'm gonna cover more information about that soon. <laughs> Please subscribe for that future video but for now I'm just gonna mention that this JSK as well as other Lolita JSKs sometimes have a, a collar and then Lolita blouses also a lot of the time have Peter Pan collars and it would look a little bit strange to have this double collar. I think that you could do it where you layer it over it so that you don't see this collar. But in general, I would recommend looking for tops and pieces that don't have a Peter Pan collar, that have 
um, a higher neckline, a more plain neckline, a lower neckline, so you just get the sleeves, that kind of thing, maybe boleros. Today's coordinate, I am wearing the cream and sugar cut sew, uh, the white one, and the neckline is really nice with this. I love these buttons. I have a cotton candy feet brown bag. I'm wearing a pink wig with this brown beret and then I have my brown wrist cuffs and you can't see but I have white tights and brown shoes. My plan was to sort of have little accents of brown with pink in this coordinate and I really like how it turned out. I ordered this belt for another project actually but then I was looking at it and I thought it was really nice to go with this dress. This dress doesn't have waist ties which actually I'm a huge fan of because I hate waist ties. I always take them off all of my dresses and store them in a drawer <laughs> but adding this little belt is a nice little extra piece to it. I've decided with all of these coordinates not to wear eccentric jewelry with them because the print is so loud on its own and I think that you can for sure do, do that. You could go into more over the top look, but I just really, I'm just really in love with this print and I just really want the print itself to really stand out. The last thing I wanted to try was wearing this with a pink blouse because there are so many pinks that I was worried about it not matching or not being the right pink, but I think that there's so many to choose from in this print that you really can't go wrong. I think that the way that the bodice is mint and kind of breaks up that space between the pink allows you more room to play around with styling it with pink. And I really like how this turned out. It's the bodyline pink blouse that I have and it has ruffles along the neckline, but it didn't get in the way of the collar or of the straps of the dress and I really like that. I feel very cute and I can't wait to find more ways to style this dress. If you have any more ideas, let me know in the comments below. I think that I'm gonna try out some rainbow kind of look, but you're gonna have to tune into my Instagram to see that. Please follow me at lovelylore and as always, stay lovely.